It's 11 questions on a married couple's favorite films from a wedding rehearsal dinner event I did a few months back. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, your pal, your buddy, and my name's Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out this daily trivia show that comes at you each and every day of the week, the month, and the year. We've been doing it uh, for about two years now, but the daily started about 40 days ago or so, and uh, it's been growing. The show has been growing quite a bit. We just hit 100,000 downloads in two years, so I feel like that's pretty good. And uh, again, a lot of growth in the last month or two. If you're brand new to the show, go back and search the feed for all kinds of different topics and trivia titles that you might be into, stuff like The Office and Parks and Rec, stuff like Craft Beer, stuff like the movie Grease, the musical Grease, Disney movies, sports, you name it, I've probably done it. Go look at all the different titles and kind of start there and subscribe for brand new episodes every single day, wherever you listen to podcasts, Google Play or iTunes or a good old fashioned Libsyn MP3 player, which is where I host this show. Shout out to Libsyn for always uh, providing such a great service. Today, I am um, going to read you some questions from a service I provided. I do a lot of different trivia all over Southern California, uh, mostly at bars and breweries and things, but sometimes I get hired to do special events. And this was one of those special events. It was for my friends Bo and Mackenzie, and it was their wedding rehearsal dinner the night before their wedding. So this was a Friday night. I believe we did this at a restaurant in Pacoima, if I'm not mistaken, something like that in California. And they are uh, people that work in the industry. And Bo, I think, is a big camera guy. So he loves a lot of great cinemagraphic Cinemagraphic? Is that a thing? Cinematograph- <laughs> cinematograph- graphic? Is that a word? Uh, he's into cinematography. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and he uh, has a great taste in movies, as does his wife, Mackenzie. So I thought uh, for today's episode, I'll read you the 11 questions I wrote about their favorite movies for their wedding rehearsal dinner. We're going to dive into those 11 questions right after you hear this noise. <laughs> All right, here we go. 11 questions on Bo and Mackenzie's favorite movies. I think some of these might be your favorite movies, too. Question number one. How many total Mad Max movies have been released as of 2017? Number one. How many total Mad Max movies have been released as of 2017? Question number two. The new Blade Runner takes place in 2049. When does the first film take place? Number two. The newest Blade Runner takes place in 2049. When does the first film take place? Question number three. For Bowen McKenzie's favorite movies, who speaks the first line of dialogue in Star Wars A New Hope? Was it Chewbacca, Princess Leia, or C-3PO? Number three, who speaks the first line of dialogue in Star Wars A New Hope? Chewbacca, Princess Leia, or C-3PO? Question number four, what state does The Shining take place in? Question four, what state does The Shining take place in? Question number five, finish this tagline for Jaws. See it before you go blank. Fill in the blank. Number five, Finish the tagline for Jaws. See it before you go blank. Question number six. What brand of tobacco do the kids chew at the fair in the sandlot? Number six. What brand of tobacco do the kids chew at the fair in the sandlot? Question number seven. What year did The Sound of Music come out? Was it 1959, 1965, or 1971? What year did The Sound of Music come out? 1959, 1965, or 1971? Question number eight. Love is a Many Splendored Thing is the first song from what film? Number eight. Love is a Many Splendored Thing is the first song from what film? Question number nine. What is Tom's job in 500 Days of Summer? What is Tom's job in 500 Days of Summer? Question number 10. What actress plays someone named Kitty Cat in Wedding Crashers? What actress plays someone named Kitty Cat in Wedding Crashers? And number 11. This was the bonus question for two points. Who are the top three build names on the cover and poster for Father of the Bride? What are the top three build names 
in Father of the Bride. All right, we are going to play the trailer for Father of the Bride because that's a fun movie. So we'll listen to that trailer and then we'll come back with the answers to Bowen McKenzie's favorite movie round. I used to think a wedding was a simple affair. Boy and girl meet, they fall in love, they say I do. I was wrong. That's getting married. A wedding is an entirely different proposition. You fathers will understand. You have an adorable little girl who looks up to you and adores you in a way you could never have imagined. Dad, I met a man in Rome and we're getting married. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm engaged, I'm getting married. Right then, I realized my day had passed. Annie, it's a little nippy out. You might want to put on a oh, Dad, it's okay. I'm kind of warm. So there's a chill in the air, and you've been on a plane. Dad, I'm fine. Annie, it is kind of cold out. It is? Yeah. All right, thanks. I'll get my jacket. I was no longer the man in my little girl's life. Old Dad was history. If I remember seeing someone who looked like Brian's twin on America's Most Wanted. First, the wedding of our children. Wedding coordinator? What's a wedding coordinator? Most on Moose's box in the North Lake Bride. We're gonna color coordinate with the swans, right? The swans? I have a great idea where we can have this wedding. Where? The steak pit. I don't think you want the word pit on a wedding invitation. <laughs> I hope George didn't get lost up there. He's going to be fine. Finally, the big day arrived. The day I'd been dreading for the past six months. Well, actually, for the past 22 years. Before I knew it, I had to let her go. Good, I'll just uh, go ahead. Father of the Bride. Oh, that Martin Short. He is uh, too much. He is just too much. And he may be one of the answers to the last question. We'll get to it in just a second. But here are the answers to Bo and McKenzie's favorite movie round about uh, their favorite movies. Number one, how many total Mad Max movies have been released as of 2017? The answer was four. Four total Mad Max movies. Question number two, the new Blade Runner takes place in 2049. When does the first film take place? The answer is 2019, 30 years earlier. 2019. Number three, who speaks the first line of dialogue in Star Wars A New Hope? Is it Chewbacca, Princess Leia, or C-3PO? It was your third choice, the robot C-3PO. Number four, what state does The Shining take place in? The Overlook Hotel. I think you can go there. I don't think it's called that, but uh, you can go to it, or maybe it is. I'm not sure. Colorado is the state in question. Colorado, you can go crazy up there in those mountains. Number five, finish the tagline for Jaws. See it before you go swimming. See it before you go swimming. They do some uh, screenings of Jaws I've seen online where they'll do it like in a lake with a big inflatable screen and you have to sit in a tube while you're watching the movie and it makes you think that a shark will uh, bite your ass the whole time. Number six, what brand of tobacco do the kids chew at the fair in the sandlot? It's called Big Chief. It's not a real brand of tobacco from what I know. Big Chief and then they vomit everywhere. Number seven, what year did The Sound of Music come out? 59, 65, or 71? It was 1965, The Middle Choice. One of my mom's favorite films. One of my sister's favorite films. Number eight, Love is a Many Splendored Thing is the first song from what film? A lot of people, I remember on this night, wrote um, uh, Moulin Rouge, I think. But the answer is Grease because uh, it's a medley of songs in Moulin Rouge they're referencing and uh, that is the one that they're referencing from greece so love is a many splendored thing first song in greece number nine what is tom's job in 500 days of summer tom played by joseph gordon levitt is a greeting card writer that's one of those jobs like trivia host that's not like a real job number 10 what actress plays someone named a nicknamed kitty cat in wedding crashers that was dr quinn medicine woman herself jane seymour jane seymour and the bonus question for two points who are the top three build names on the cover of father of the bride we said one of them earlier martin short uh, Steve Martin and Diane Keaton. Those were the three that we were looking for. So how'd you do out of 11 questions on Bowen McKenzie's favorite movies? Bowen McKenzie, happily married, had a great wedding from what I understand. And uh, the wedding rehearsal, tons of fun with rounds just like that. I think we did five total rounds about other stuff that they liked. We did a round about them and uh, their friends and family had a ton of fun playing along with those things. Um, So if you have something coming up like that, again, you could work trivia into just about any event. I'd love to do your wedding rehearsal dinner. I'd love to do your wedding cocktail hour. I've done all uh, things imaginable for trivia events from big to small. So shoot me a message if you have something coming up and you live in California or if you live far, I'll fly to you. If the price is right, and by price I mean, um, you know, 
a cot and a, a beer or two. Um, you can uh, email me ryanbuds at gmail.com or you go to triviawithbuds.com and hit me up on the contact form on there. I'd love to work with you to create a unique and memorable trivia event. Thanks for listening to this episode of the show. If you want to donate to the show and help it keep chugging along, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and you can be just like other great donators and patrons like Kyle Bonin and uh, Brenda Martinez. Thank you guys so much amongst uh, the other 15 people that throw me a few bucks every month. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, if you donate $5 or more, you get to pick a topic for this show that will be guaranteed to be recorded within the month. So every single month, you get to pick a new topic that I will record just for you and others to listen to, just like Erica Cooper did and Human Anatomy. So if you have something coming up that you'd like to do some trivia on, think about donating five bucks or more, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. If you like the show, leave a review on iTunes. That would be super helpful. We're almost up to 100. Whoever leaves the 100th review will get an amazing prize and present from me. Uh, Thanks for listening to the Trivia with Buds podcast, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more daily trivia. Cheers. Thank you.